Now, if we're asked to multiply polynomials, multiply functions, what we're actually doing is we're expanding sets of brackets. So we can think of this as three functions here. Um, x, and then another one is x minus 9, then another one is x plus 2. So basically we're going to expand some brackets. Same goes here. We can think of this as being x plus 5 times x plus 5, then x plus 5. Um, so over here, let's have a look at how we do uh, how we do this. So um, we multiply these two out. So x times x gives us x squared. Uh, x times 2 gives us plus 2x, negative 9 plus x minus minus 9x, negative 9 times 2 gives us negative 18. Simplify to x squared, minus 7x minus 18, and we've still got this x here, so I'm going to put that here, and I'm going to put that there as well, so now we've got, multiply all this out, so we've got x cubed minus 7x squared, minus 18x. Okay, now that we've got this, uh, we've got x plus 5, x plus 5, and then x plus 5. Now, I know that if I'm squaring um, a set of brackets, which is what we've got here, x plus 5 times x plus 5, we have x plus, we multiply 5 times x, and then we double it to 10x, plus 25, we square our third term. And then from there, we've got um, x plus 5 as well. And now from there, we multiply x plus 5 times x, we have x cubed. Uh, x, x squared times 5, we have plus 5x. Uh, and then we've got 10x multiplied by x, so we've got 10x squared, and 10x times 5, so we end up with 50x. 25 times x, so we get 25x. And 25 times 5, so we get 125. And then, one last step, we simplify. x cubed, um, this should be 5x squared, so we've got 10x squared and 5x squared to make 15x squared. Uh, 50x and 25x makes 75x. I'll write that a little bit clearer. 70 5x plus 125. So that's how we go about multiplying polynomials.